been a while since I've talked about a snowboard product here on the channel and today we're gonna talk about the Burton step-on bindings. Now I own the photons and I own the rulers. My photons are a size 10 and my rulers are actually a size eight and a half. And depending on what I plan on doing that day and how the snow conditions are, decides which boot I grab and wear. One big thing in common both of these boots have is that they have the cleat and clip system to be able to work with the step-on bindings. These are not boots you would use with regular bindings. So I've had these Burton step-ons for about four seasons now. And in some of the videos, you might hear this little clicking. Woo! And that is the step-on making that noise. Now, something I didn't realize at the time is that the footbed and the placement of the footbed is incredibly important. So in theory, we're supposed to be able to adjust the footbed to the correct size boot and make that clicking stop. And now that I've been told this, I wanna actually come out and see if it's true. So that's what we're doing today. So if you own the Burton Step-Ons, this video is all for you. It's an absolutely beautiful morning here at Keystone Ski Resort. It is a cold morning. You still have to wear a face mask at the base on the lifts. When you're riding, you don't have to, but it's so cold today, I wouldn't wanna go without something covering my face. So if you're not familiar with what a footbed is, let me show you real quick so that you know what I'm even talking about. Your step-ons go into the cleat here and your toes clip onto the front right here. And typically the noise you hear is just a little bit of movement right there. And that's because this part isn't adjusted to your boot to make it seat to that properly. So all you do is unsnap this and you can see right here there's different sizes. Snap it into the one that's for your boot size. So in this case, we have a size 10 boot. I'm gonna actually put it on the wrong size on purpose and do a run, and we're gonna see how much chatter we get, and then we're gonna switch it to the right size and see if the rumors are true, does it really get rid of the noise, does it just lessen it a little bit, or is it exactly the same? thing is when I'm riding I almost never hear the clickety click click it's always when I play it back in videos when I'm making videos for the channel I don't know if they're clicking right now or not I honestly don't hear anything as I'm going do you did you hear anything We just had a crazy storm last night too. We're talking the winds were blowing. They had to be hitting like 60 miles per hour. We got about an inch of snow, but it's nowhere to be found because it was all blown away. I mean, the conditions are nothing but concrete. If we're gonna hear some chatter, I would think we'd hear it as long as we can hear it over all the icy scrapey scrapes. Luckily, I have four seasons worth of footage that I can play a little bit of what the chatter sounds like. So in case you were really, really wondering and you hadn't heard it yet, Listen to this. been on the fence about the Burton step-ons make sure you check out that video right there where I've had them for three seasons and I go over all my stoke and what I found out good and bad about them you get here really early on a cold day and everything's icy as can be typically the beginner runs have the most snow blown on them, they're the groom the most, so you'll find better conditions early AM on those runs. And as the sun comes out, you can move all everywhere else. One of the coolest things, man, when you're riding in a mountain and you run into somebody who has a sticker 
one of my stickers on their helmet. It's the coolest when you see them on someone's board. If you are looking to get a sticker, one of the uh, Yeti stickers or something else, check out my new merch store down in the description below. Now I gotta say, I'm a bit surprised that I haven't heard it when I'm doing either of those laps when these things were set to the eight or to the 10. I think I can hear it when I'm riding. I always hear it in the video playback. So I'm gonna go do some fun laps by myself, show you guys real quick before I go, one of the coolest things about the Burton Step-Ons is when you're riding by yourself, you can just get off the lift and just keep going. Then I'm gonna head to the house, edit this footage, and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna listen and talk about my thoughts on if adjusting that footbed makes any difference. Because I've had so much clickety-click over the years, and I swear I'm not hearing it today. Let me know in the comments below if you have the Burton Step-Ons, if you found that the adjusting of the footbed gets rid of your clickety-clacks, or if you just have them no matter what all the time when you're riding on your Burton Step-Ons. And if you do, does that matter? There are rumors of a new updated Burton Step-On boot or binding coming out next season that supposedly has some kind of different toe adjustment, toe clip thing, backwards compatible kind of thing. If Burton was to make something new and it didn't, work with what was already out there, that they would be shooting themselves in the foot because of all the people already so in love with these bindings. For those haters, they either just hate Burton because Burton, you know, has become so mainstream, or they've tried them for a day and they haven't given themselves time to adjust to learning how to get in and out of them so quickly. And if you're looking for more information on the Burton Step-Ons, make sure you do go into the description below and click on my list. I have tons of Burton Step-On videos that will help you decide if they're the right binding for you. So make sure you check the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and get off this lift and get a lap in and I'll see you guys in the studio. That's the coolest thing about them. glad you made it this far into the video because this is when I go back and I look through all the footage that I took today as well as over the last four years. I've been spending time going through all this footage to try to figure out if this is just a rumor or if it actually makes a difference. And I think it actually does make a difference. So I used to have only one pair of the Burton Step-Ons, which is what I was using for most of those videos you've seen in the past from me. But I had a few boards, so I would take the bindings off one board, change it around, put it onto another board, change the foot position depending on the board, and go ride. And during that time, I never once bothered double checking where I was actually clipping that footbed to be. But since I've heard about this rumor, I'm actually paying attention to where the footbed is in the binding. And so far, I, I am finding all kinds of footage with no clicks whatsoever. I even went outside just moments ago, put my feet in the board, and purposely just tried to move the binding around to see if I could get any clicks at all, and I got nothing. There's a lot of things out there talking about the click, and honestly, even if you don't adjust it right and you get the click, you're not gonna fall out of your binding. You're gonna still be in a more responsive binding than if you had regular bindings, and you're gonna not have to bend over and you can just get on right out of the lift, unless you're with friends that have regular bindings. Now, I'd really like to hear from you guys down in the comments section below. If you do own Burton Step-Ons, do you get the click? Have you adjusted it to be able to get rid of your click? Or are you using some kind of other weird thing like wax or grease or something to try to minimize the sound? You shouldn't have to do that. Just tweak your footbed so that it's the same 
measurement as your boot. That is why all those measurements are there. Put it to the right one, go out and try it, come back to this video, let me know in the comment if you notice a difference. If the right size doesn't seem to do it for you, then screw around with some other sizes and see if that makes a difference. And if I find anything else out about this new rumored system to be coming out as an add-on or whatever it is, I'll definitely make a video about it. Hopefully one of these days Burton will actually send me a pair of something because these videos I'm making are 100% funded by me and I do it because I actually love the technology in this boot and binding setup. The only people I've ever met that hate this or think that it sucks are people who haven't really used it or maybe they've only used it to make a video about and they didn't have any time to adjust to how to get in and out of their bindings. And remember, every first and third Monday of the month, I'm now doing a live streaming show about GoPros, 360 cameras, drones, and snowboarding. And I will be giving things away in every single show. So I hope to see you guys there. Remember it's 8 p.m. Mountain Time. And with that, I'm out of here. You guys have a great day.